Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a great weekend. If you're new to my channel, my name is Julie. I do all sorts of lifestyle videos, home hacks, cleaning, daily vlogs, motherhood, you name it, I do it. And um, if you're an existing subscriber and you've seen my previous video, you know that we had some internet issues last month. They have since then been resolved and we will hopefully be back on schedule this month, every Tuesday and Friday. That being said, let's just jump right into today's video. Today, I will be sharing with you guys five home hacks that you almost can't live without. These things are super, super simple, small little things that have changed the way I do cleaning and um, laundry and they're just amazing. So you definitely have to give these a try if you haven't already. And um, let's go ahead and take a look at those hacks. So my first hack of the day is going to be including the Swiffer Wet Jet. Now as a mom, I clean the floors quite often, maybe four or five, even six times a day. And the most convenient tool to do that with is the Swiffer Wet Jet. Now what makes that so convenient is it has the soap dispenser that will dispense the soap as you're mopping the floors. But these little refills it can become quite costly, especially if you're washing the floors very often. So in order to continue using this and save money, all you have to do is boil some water and just dip the top of the Swiffer refill into the water to loosen up the cap. Then you should be able to just unseal it, but now you have those little lock tabs. I just removed them with a nail clipper. You can use anything, whatever works best for you. This can be dangerous, so just watch your fingers. And then I will just refill it with the soap of my choice. You can make your own soap with just some water, vinegar, and essential oils. That way it's safe. I am, however, using this Zep. I get this in a big bulk and it's a concentrated floor cleaner that I just dilute with some water. It actually smells very nice and it works fantastically and this is going to last me almost forever. Such a long time. Another expense with using the Swiffer is the pads. Now these are also quite expensive and I go through these like crazy. So my trick is to use a reusable pad. Now I got this one from another mop that I had but it didn't have the dispenser so I didn't like to use it. But the Swiffer will just attach to this like nothing and it works perfect. If you don't have any of these reusable pads, um, you can just use this microfiber cloth that I buy either from the dollar store, they come in a pack of six or seven I believe, or you can order them in bulk off of Amazon. They just stick right on, they glide really nicely, and they clean the floors just as good and are a lot more cost efficient. Next, we're moving on to an organization item. Now this, you, I picked up at the dollar store, and I believe it's to put on your shelves to stack your plates or things like that, but I have decided to use this in my deep drawers where my pots and pans are, and you can just layer up your lids. It holds them very nicely, and you can also use them to uh, sort out your frying pans you can have them in biggest to smallest or anything like that but it just keeps the drawer really neat and tidy and you're not stuck digging and looking for that one pan you need to use for five seconds.
So I don't know about you, but for us, our garbage is disgusting. It stinks so bad, the plastic inside. So the trick to that is just take some scrap paper around the house, wrinkle it all up, and then go and find your favorite, yes, I said it, essential oils. And I am today using peppermint. I love the smell of this, especially from the garbage, this or lemon. And just go ahead and cover those paper up with the essential oils. Get them all full of it, a couple drops, maybe 10 on each piece. And then you can just go ahead and throw them right into the garbage. And this way, when you put your bag on top, the plastic from the can will be sucking in that scent from the essential oils and not so much from the garbage. So next time you go, you'll get a fresh smell of either mint or lemon. So for my last hack, you guys, unfortunately, I didn't realize that I was so far out of the frame until I'm sitting here editing, but have you ever struggled with getting your clothes to stay on your hangers? Because I do. I am slowly replacing my hangers with the felt ones, but I am taking my time in purchasing them because they can be pretty expensive. So I have been using these pipe cleaners and just wrapping them around both sides of my plastic hangers and this will prevent any slipping from the clothing. And this works on Ava's clothes because she has some tiny little dresses that just don't stay on the hangers properly or really silk shirts that just don't have any grip. This works fantastically until you can replace your hangers with something better. That's it for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed any of it, please let me know down in the comments, especially if you went ahead and tried any of these hacks for yourself. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I would absolutely love to have you. Have a great week, guys, and I will see you on Friday.